Hi, my name's Dave Vaughan and I'm the head bailiff on Thorny Weir and the Mets Day Ticket Lakes down in the heart of the Colne Valley. And here are my five bailiff nightmares. In fifth place is etiquette and respect for other anglers on the lake. This causes more issues and more arguments between anglers than anything else. If you're turning up to a lake and fishing in a particular swim, just have a little word with the guy next door, see where he's fishing. Or watch the guy opposite you, see how far out he's casting and what direction he's casting in. It only takes a few minutes, but it stops arguments, stops clashes with other anglers. In fourth place is carp care kit. I see lots of people turning up to the lakes with wafer thin mats and torn and broken landing nets. You spend so much money on your rods and your alarms, your bivvies and everything else, yet people seem to scrimp and scrape on the quality of their carp care kit. Buy good stuff. It's taking care of the carp that you want to go out there and catch. If someone else has got poor quality stuff and they damage the fish, you're not going to be as happy when you catch it. So buy good quality carp care kit. Always make sure you've got some uh, medic medication with you, propolis or, or some other kind. Uh, and use it on the fish, on their mouth and on ulcer, little ulcers they may have or, or scratches after spawning. Make sure you've got a decent thickness mat. Very important. In at number three, we've got people using their swims or surrounding areas as a toilet. I don't know of a day ticket that exists that haven't got toilets of some form on site. Some of them have got proper toilets and shower facilities. Some of them just have port loos but everywhere toilets are available. Please, please, please use them. Do not use your swim or the surrounding area. You would hate it if you turned up to a swim and someone had been using it as a toilet. Set your bivvy up, there's the constant smell of pee in the, in the bivvy because someone's been peeing in the, in the side of the swim or in the center of the swim. Don't do it. At number two, reading the rules. Either read them when you arrive on site or preferably look on the fishery website. See what the rules are to make sure you've got the right equipment with you. Some fisheries are barbless, some fish allow, fisheries allow both kinds, barbed or barbless. But check the rules, check if you're allowed to use nuts, check if you're allowed to use certain pieces of equipment, if you're allowed to surface fish, anything like that. Then you don't turn up with the wrong stuff or you turn up with too much stuff or have to carry too much stuff because you don't know what the rules are. Go on the website, check the rules, or ring the bailiff. None of us mind talking to people about the rules. If you ring us up, we're more than happy to tell you what they are so that we can run a more successful fishery. And finally, in first place, is the dreaded litter. We all have a problem with litter. All fishery owners talk to each other We've all got the same issue. We're all spending more and more time cleaning up after people that come to the fisheries. There's no need for it. I know our streets are more littered than they used to be, but this is a place that you're going for a couple of days, maybe three days, to enjoy yourself and relax. And the last thing you want to do is walk into a swim where someone's been left leaving litter, leaving a mess, lying on the floor, in particular fishing line, or just general litter, black bags of rubbish. It's lighter and it's easier to take away than it was when you arrived. Put it in a bag, take it with you. Do not leave your litter behind.